Now, where will this magical saga take us this time? I am lubed up and ready to go. One thing that is quite consistent across all of these films is that they very quickly induce a strong desire to put a bullet into my brain. They're sitting amongst the flowers like um, Hayden Christensen and what's her face in Star Wars and the dialogue is equally as appalling. I don't like sand. She's very comfortable kissing ice. It would be nice to see her lips stick every so often to him or you know because he's so cold. Marry me. Mm. Had she not said yes to getting married? Why does he keep asking? Are we seriously having this discussion where she's unsure to, if, if to marry him, but she's going to become a vampire for him? What? She's a pillock. You scared me. You got another reservation? Hey, did you do this to my truck? Well, you have to understand. Your safety is everything to me. Well, Edward's dialed up the fucking control, isn't he? You're not going out without me anywhere, ever. One way in which I think that they could improve these films is if the uh, half-vampire, half-man, vampire hunter Blade um, made an appearance and slaughtered every last vampire in these feckin' films. Party at your place? Alice genuinely looks about 35. It'll be fun. Yeah, that's what you said last time. It's pretty dull so far, with the highlight being that she's just been given a quilt. Oh, plot device vampire woman is back. Oh my god, we're still dealing with Victoria. What a character arc she's had. I'd almost completely erased her from my mind entirely. Team Jacob, woo! Get your abs out, get your abs out, woo! I've decided that everyone just treats everyone like shit in this. Edward lies to Bella all the time and then Bella fucks off with Jacob on the back of his motorbike, just cutting school when she just got there. Imprinting on someone is like, like when you see her, everything changes. All of a sudden, it's not gravity holding you to the planet, it's her. Oh, what a, what a lady shit. It makes me sick. Better you really be dead than one of them. Jacob feels like he's got some real vampire racism in his heart, doesn't he? I'm tired of this. From now on, I'm Switzerland, okay? Pretty sure Switzerland didn't stop anything, did they? They just held all the gold and profited. You can't protect me, watch my dad, and keep yourselves fed. I'm not leaving you here defenseless. Well, I'm not gonna let you starve. There's about six of them, seven of them, and they can't protect her without starving to death. What? How often do they eat? Taha Aki's third wife could see that he would lose. The fact that she's the third wife particularly relevant to anything. No special powers but one. Courage. <laughs> And apparently no one else was bleeding whilst being attacked, which is quite impressive. She was the only one. The third wife had to stab herself because no one else who'd been thrown about was bleeding at all. Understand all your options, and I want you to choose me instead of him. I do like that he thinks the only reason she's doing it is because she thinks she won't get another boyfriend. You wouldn't have to change for me, Bella. <laughs> Like, she's unaware of other options around, so she's like, well, I guess the vampire life for me. Don't feel that way for you. I don't buy it. She's missing out on that dog dick. <laughs> What's going on? Little, uh, little misunderstanding there. I forced myself upon her, and then when she defended herself, she got hurt. But it's fine, I brought her home, so, you know. Everything's everything's cool now. Charlie seems as exasperated by the events of these films as I do. That way someday when they ask what we want to be, we won't have to guess. We'll know. Anna Kendrick stealing the show yet again. It's so good that Alice can push the plot along whenever she wants to by having a vision. It's great. We're in. No. You'd get yourselves killed, no way. Why does Bella think she does know what they're getting themselves into? She just gets on my tits. Uh, you'll get hurt. Shut up, it's your fucking fault in the first place, you silly bint. Justin Bieber vampires. <laughs> Never lose focus. Jasper is just a completely different character in this. What is going on? <laughs> I'm not sure the music choice is quite right for this never hug a newborn montage. It's not quite Eye of the Tiger, is it? Also, this whole training montage is awful. 
this might be the first series of anything, be it books, films, TV, where the more I learn about the story, the less I want to know. Edward and I are going to a campsite. That's their answer to all of this. Everyone's going to have a massive fight and we're going to go camping. And I know you feel something for me. I can sense how I make you feel. Physically. Jacob can feel her physically. What, like he can feel like little fanny twinges or something? What is going on? What are you doing outside? I literally just arrived, you fucking lunatic. I still want you this way. It's too dangerous. Try. Just try. Oh my god, is he gonna rip her apart? <laughs> his dick. Edward's old school, dry humping only, just furiously dry humping like a 15 year old. Believe me, I want to. I just want to be married to you first. Believe me, I want to, but I need to have that ring round my finger first, woman, I'm not a whore. If you don't have blood pumping through your veins, how can you get a boner? After asking your father's permission, I would have got down on one knee. Would you do me the extraordinary honor of marrying me? Pretty sure he hasn't asked Charlie's permission before presenting her with that massive ring. By way of uh, agreeing to marry me, will you pop this little knuckle duster on your finger for me? Thank you very much. I knew these films were bad, but I didn't think they would be so physically difficult to sit through. Oh, just want to tear my eyes out. Is that a different Victoria? Is that Bryce Dallas Howard? Have they recast her? I feel a bit bad for the original Victoria when she didn't have any lines. Literally the minute they've got more than two things to say and she's replaced. Bless her. Why would they have gone through the water? Why would they, why would that make any sense? Why would they do that? This is just so fucking strange. And he's shirtless, obviously. And then he's going to lie there and hug her in front of her boyfriend. In front of her fiancé. Oh, this is just so weird. Faster if you took your clothes off. Oh my god. Edward's getting cucked in front of her. Because she's got to get well. I'm done. I'm so done. I don't care about any of the characters anymore. I don't care. Jacob! Kiss me. Why are you asking him to do that? This is just ridiculous. How is this all right? Surely Edward can fucking hear what he's thinking. Jacob's thoughts are pretty loud. Probably hear him getting a boner. I love him. I love you more. That makes it all right then, does it? She's a terrible person. <laughs> They're not the shittest Avengers. All right, fair play. Jasper just took someone's head clean off with a punch. Wolves and vampires working together. Best of friends. Best of friends! She only created you and this army to avenge her true mate. There's only you. You know that. Victoria's acting. God, she's not convincing, is <laughs> oh, she? Victoria! Victoria! What a way to go! Screaming Victoria! She shakes her head and the wolf takes you off into the distance! <laughs> Finally, three films and she did nothing. She learned nothing, she did nothing. She was just nothing. It was, she was just there. What a pointless character. All you need is a Zippo and a vampire will burn like it's covered in petrol, eh? That's very convenient. <laughs> Bones on the right half of his body are shattered. Carlisle's the best doctor in the world. Literally knows every bone on the right hand side of his body is shattered. You didn't know what she was doing. Give her a chance. The Volturi don't give second chances. Jane is vicious and I love it. The tall one from the Volturi gang looks like a really beefy James Blunt. Yep. Beautiful. I'm exactly right for you, Bella. I am exactly right for you. Oh, there's another troubling relationship, Bella. <laughs> Don't go near it. That film was not in any way a step up from the last one. Go so far as to say that was almost as boring as the first one. Not quite, because it had the fight at the end, which I actually thought was kind of cool in some places, but mainly because people's heads fell off. I'm starting to have serious concerns. Um, as to whether or not I'll be able to watch the last two films. I just don't know if it's possible to hate myself that much. 
that I'd willingly put myself through it. I, I don't know if I want to do it anymore. Anything, actually anything. These films may have removed my ability to derive any enjoyment from life. <laughs>